Okay, guys, welcome to another episode of the Ramzan Sessions. And the past two weeks, I have to say, has been really, really eye-opening for me since it was one of the first times that I've been to any of these shrines. We've been to Bibi Pak Daman, we've been to Brata Darbar. What nice spiritual places, uh, lots of positive energy there. And today, we are going to none other than Mia Mir, a renowned Sufi saint from this uh, subcontinental region. And we will tell you more when we get there. So today we embark on a profound journey to the sacred shrine of Hazrat Mia Mir in Lahore. Hazrat Mia Mir, born in 1550, belonged to an illustrious lineage tracing its roots back to the esteemed family of Hazrat Ali, the cousin and son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. From this Lombul bloodline emerged a saint whose spiritual radiance would illuminate the hearts of multitudes. But it was not merely his noble lineage that defined Hazrat Mia Mir. It was the divine grace that flowed through his veins, igniting the flames of faith and compassion within him. One of the most astonishing miracles attributed to him revolves around the restoration of Emperor Jahangir's sight. Legend has it that Emperor Jahangir, plagued by blindness, sought solace in the guidance of Hazrat Mia Mir. Through the sheer power of his prayers and unwavering faith, Hazrat Mia Mir bestowed upon the Emperor the gift of sight, illuminating his world once more with divine light. Here, amidst the intricate tiles and a mesmerizing calligraphy, devotees offer prayers with unwavering devotion, seeking solace in the divine presence of Hazrat Mia Mir. It's a place where faith transcends barriers, uniting hearts in a tapestry of love and compassion. The shrine of Hazrat Mia Mir isn't merely a monument. It's a testament to the enduring power of faith in miracles. It reminds us that miracles aren't confined to the pages of history, they unfold in the hearts of those who believe. Because of his love for humanity and liberal mindedness, apart from Muslims, Hindus, Christians and Sikhs would also ensure their presence before him. He would pray for all of them without any discrimination of color or race, faith or creed. He would render service to all and would fulfill his duty of preaching the deen of Islam with utmost wisdom. The interesting fact is that Guru Arjun Dev, the fifth Guru of Sikhs, made his intention of constructing Hari Mandir or the Golden Temple in Amritsar. He, because of his devotion to Hazrat Mia Mir, came to Lahore and requested Hazrat to lay the foundation stone of their worship place. Being monotheist, Mia Mir accepted and thus laid the foundation stone of the famous Sikh Golden Temple. Even today, a lot of people from the Sikh community visit the shrine of Hazrat Mia Mir to pay homage to him for his philosophy, tolerance and broad-mindedness. What an experience we had today at this holy shrine. Because of the rain, there was almost no one there and we had the whole place to ourselves to discover its vibe and beauty. The caretaker of Mia Mir's shrine was kind enough to take us to a private tour to Mia Mir's private library, where we learned about his beautiful life. After the tour and reciting Fatiha, praying two rakas namaz to Hadiya to him, we left to the old city to complete our Ramadan ritual of Seri and Fajr namaz. Today's eatery was the famous Janoon restaurant, where the keema and omelette hit the spot. However, please take note that it's their Karak Chai that steals the show.
Following the amazing meal and feeling grateful and thankful, we went to offer congregational prayer fajr at the Bahad Shahi Masjid, ending the night with mad thanks for all the blessings and looking forward to the next amazing adventure in store for us next week. Baba Bulle Shah. Please like, share and subscribe so we can keep giving you this wonderful content. Okay guys, what an end to an amazing night. Mia Mir, you know, such a spiritual place. We've had amazing food. We've been lucky enough and blessed enough to pray at this hospital here. Uh, at the Bacha in Masjid. And it's amazing. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed doing it. And I hope that you will do this trip next time yourself. <laughs>